analyst Levy Ndo uh, to just reflect on the stricter rules that have now been put in place ahead of the State of the Nation address this evening, which means no member of parliament can interrupt the president while he's speaking, and they can't even raise any other issues uh, throughout uh, the proceedings, especially when they utilize that phrase we often hear, point of order. That's not going to be allowed. Now, the presiding officers have been quick to point out that the new rules are not aimed at any specific party, and we know that the EFF has previously been ejected from Parliament for causing disruptions. Political analyst Levin Do, good afternoon to you. Thanks for joining us. Of course, others saying that this is essentially gagging of members of Parliament. It's not going to be as robust and perhaps even infringing on their political or, or rather parliamentary ben um, privileges. Uh, good afternoon, Cindy. Good afternoon to the viewers at home. Um, I think it depends on where one stands. But uh, at the same time, every organization, every establishment would have its rules and regulations. And of course, the rules that are established are uh, amended on a regular basis, depending on the circumstances that are there. And uh, my sense is that there was no need to have this kind of strict rules to be established, because normally you would expect members of parliament to focus on what is on the agenda and indeed make sure that uh, the purpose of uh, the gathering is actually achieved. Do you think that the decorum, though, at some point, particularly when it even led to the delay of the State of the Nation address because of the point of order, be it legitimately so, or that it was just almost a childish um, interjection that you'd see from some political parties, do you think that it is necessary just to maintain order and respect in, in the integrity of Parliament? Well, I think it depends on the paper.